I came to England uh, because uh, in 1979 it became very difficult for me to dance in Pakistan. When um, Mr. Ziaul Haq came, the, the policies changed and somehow the, um, the religious fanatics, I would say, um, you know, started to exercise their beliefs about women's role. And um, I mean, at that time, even in papers, it came about me that I'm, <laughs> I'm ruining the younger generation by being an example of a woman who dances. And we are not still, um, you know, uh, allowed to advertise in the papers and behind curtains. If, if anything like a performance happens, then it has to be very secretly done. But I did suffer and I still am a bit sad about it, though I really did try in my own way to keep going to Pakistan keep performing, even though it uh, was really, really difficult at times because I used to feel I'm going to be arrested in the interval. I'm going to be really taken away. I think fine, you know, if, if it has to be that, then I'm not a revolutionary person in that sense and I'm not a politician either. So it's, I'm not fighting with anybody. In fact, the message through art or through dance is, is, is one of total peace because arts are missing from our society. And youngsters with energy and enthusiasm, what do they do if they don't become Taliban's? You know, there is an age where people want to exercise their energetic abilities. They want to, you know, let it out. And if you do not let them exercise it through arts, they are absolutely going to make bombs, going to make weapons, they are going to fight. I try and do in my little way whatever I can with all sorts of difficulties and all the time my mind is thinking how, how, how. Maybe at the cost of one's life, you know, because any fanatic can come and say, why are you doing it or whatever. Putting myself under um, lined as a um, political activist or a women lib person would be really wrong because I, I, I don't believe in having issues. I'm not making any statements through dance, but the only problem is, most probably, that I'm a woman and I come from a place where uh, women's role is seen as uh, something else. Even today, in 2000, we have to fight, you know, girls have to fight for their careers. You know, families don't allow. So dance is something which absolutely negates all systems. In a society like Pakistan, it's very, very difficult to make yourself understood by even other fellow women because uh, you have decided to take take up something which is not even seen as a subject. So obviously I would be picked by everybody as what is she doing? Why is she being so different? Why has she chosen something which is not done, you know, like the Jonathan Siegel's book, you know, that that, that, that um, Siegel used to fly every day and try different ways of flight. And all the other, you know, seagulls, they got very frightened and scared and they used to stop. Even his own family used to say, why do you have to land like that? Why can't you land like the others do?
So our issues, I feel, is not of dance alone, is not of women alone. We have to really take our lives into our hands as a nation, as Pakistanis. The issue begins with our kids who are learning to walk. And walking is the beginning of dance. And walking with erect posture, you know, is the sign of a good nation, you know. People with good spines, with good walk, with erect positions are the signs of sure people, sure nation. And you will always recognize a nation by the, the way they walk or their stance. And people who want to live honestly in life, they want their total expression. Why should they be scared of what? Why? Because after all, you know, what do we get from life in the end if we don't get peace? In a rush, if you're lost in a rush crowd, you become one of them. That is what I've always prayed, that I don't want to be part of crowd. Please, <laughs> I've always prayed. Please, you know, I just, you know, I, I want to understand why I am here, and if there is a duty, then give me that strength and honesty to fulfill it. <laughs>